All right, so this is how you mod your Nintendo 3DS, 2DS, 3DS XL, and uh, of course, with zero chance of bricking. With this tutorial, it's impossible to brick your 3DS. First things first, I'm just going to rule out some things so nobody gets any errors. Uh, you're going to take out your SD card out of your 3DS. Mine didn't come with one, so I will have to use a brand new one. And uh, if your SD card is over 32 gigabytes, you need to format it first to FAT32. And uh, I will be using this four gigabyte SD card. I'm going to just plug it in. If your 3DS had a SD card, you still just plug it in. I'm gonna just open this and here you will have uh, all of your files. Yeah, so this SD card was not brand new. And uh, with these files, if you have any files, you just make a new folder on your PC and transfer the files over to that folder. So you have a backup of all of these files because what you're gonna do next is format the SD card to FAT32, it's right there. And if you do not have the FAT32 option here, uh, what you're gonna do is follow my how to format any SD card to FAT32 tutorial that is on my channel. But yeah, FAT32 allocation unit size, you can just leave that at 32 and uh, quick format start. And this will just rule out many SD card errors that people have seen when modding their 3DS. They think they did something wrong, but really it's just that the SD card is a little corrupted. And here you can see format complete. And now you can take all of the files that uh, you had from your SD card and transfer it over to your SD card here because now it's wiped. And uh, yeah, you're ready to move on to the next step. Right, and now what you're gonna do is go on to the first link in the description of the video, and that is going to lead you to this page right here. What you're going to do here is press on download, and then download as a zip file. And you're just going to give this a second here. Also, for modding, I recommend um, drinking a Monster Mango Loco absolute banger and uh, yeah once that is downloaded you can next out of that go into file explorer go into downloads and then you're going to extract the file you just downloaded there we go and now open this and here you will have two files let me just zoom in a little make it a little easier to see here you will have two files and what you are going to do is first of all press double click on python press on run and then you're just going to install now install python i already do have python so i do not need to do this whoops i do not need to do this but um you will need to so just install now go through the entire installation and uh, once that's done you are ready to continue i should yes and uh here you have another file or folder which says root. And uh, yeah, once you open that, you will have all of these files. And what you're gonna do is select all of these files and transfer them over to the SD card. There we go. And now we are actually ready to move on to the 3DS. So what you're gonna do is just X out of this. Do not power off your SD, no, uh, PC. And uh, just eject the SD card here. Eject, take out the SD card. There we go. Put it into the adapter. Turn on your 3DS if it's not already on. Just put in the SD card, does not matter what order you put that in. Boom, the SD card will make some files. And this of course does not matter what region you're on or anything like that. And the uh, next step, we'll be going into system settings here. I don't think I have a 3DS pen, no I don't. And uh, what you're gonna do now is connect to the internet. So I'm just going to connect to the internet. 
don't mind that it's in Japanese. Just uh, press where I press and right now just connect to the internet. So let me just do that. And there we go. Mango Loco, cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There we go, back, back, and now you're going to go into system settings and you're going to update the device. So it is on the absolutely newest version. This is a really important step. So you're not on any old firmware or anything like that. So let's just update the 3DS. This might take a second. And by the way, do not mind that I am on the Legion Go. First Legion Go, I actually have ordered uh, the second one too. And uh, boom, that is done already because I think uh, it realized that I am on the newest version. I don't even know why it allowed me to try to update. But yeah, it runs Windows 11, so um, you can mod on it. That's what I used to mod my 3DSs. Really, really cool. And once you're on the newest firmware, what you're going to do is go into here, Mi Plaza, open Mi Plaza, then just wait a little. And this will create some files, SD. It just created some files if that did not happen for you, okay? Do not go into the comments now. If that did not happen for you, that means that you do not need to do it. So uh, it's all good. If you went straight into here, it's fine. It's fine. And um, yeah, let's just X out of Mi Plaza. And now what you're gonna do is go into system settings here. There we go. You're gonna press here, Nintendo 3DS, and now press on the top one. There we go. And now what you're going to do is take out your SD card here. Plug it into your PC or Lenovo Legion Go. Plug it in. Go into File Explorer. Press on SD. M set nine. Just it does not matter which M set nine you press on. Just as long as it's M set nine. Here it says Windows Batch File. It does not matter which one you press on. Just press on the one that says M set nine. And not the command one, by the way. Not the command one because that is for Mac. Here you can see over mset9, mset9.command, that is for Mac. So if you're on Mac, you press that. But uh, yeah, mset9, boom. And now, as you can see here, we are rocking the old 3DS at the newest firmware. So we're going to press one, boom. If you have a 2DS or 3DS XL, you press on the exact same thing. So just follow what I'm doing. And then first of all, we're going to perform a sanity check. So we're going to press on one, enter and here we have some errors and uh, this is of course not an error at all it's all good and uh, if you did not get this error you can skip what i'm doing right now onto when i check the sanity again so uh, what we're gonna do to solve this issue is press enter first of all then eject the sd card eject sd card and uh Take out the SD card. There we go. Put it in the adapter. Put it into the 3DS. And boom, you will get this thing up. So you're going to press on yes or format or whatever it says. I can't read Japanese, but I just know what to press. Okay. And uh, okay. Boom, that is done. Now you press back. If you did not get that error that I just got, this is where you start continuing the tutorial, okay? And uh, what you're gonna do, you know what? Let me just show that again. You just go into system settings, then you press here, then Nintendo 3DS, then the second one here, the second one, not the first one this time, the second one, boom. Now you are in the exploit area of the, or exploit part of the video and do not close or anything right here what you're gonna do is take out the sd card put the 3ds aside do not turn it off or anything like that okay nothing like that do not do that plug the sd card into your pc 
And by the way, it does not matter if you have a micro SD card or a normal SD card. I've had so many people ask me this and uh, it does not matter. It's the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, go into File Explorer, then press on your SD card again. Then you press on one of the M set nines. Does not matter which one. Press one for old 3DS. And now perform sanity check. Press one again and enter. Everything is functional. Enter. Now you're going to press on M set nine again. One, because we are rocking the old 3DS on newest firmware. And then press on two and enter to inject MSET9 payload. So let's just press enter. This is now injecting the mod. And uh, yeah, enter to exit, MSET9 successfully injected. We're going to just press enter, close out of here, eject the SD card. There we go. Take out the SD card. Oops. Put it into the adapter. And now, since your 3DS is already on, you just put in the SD card and the exploit menu will pop up. If for any reason it keeps loading or something like that or nothing happens, what you're gonna do is you're going to take out the SD card, format your SD card to FAT32 and restart the entire tutorial. It does happen sometimes, unfortunate, but things do happen. And if it still does not allow you, you are either on a new model 3DS. This only works on the old models like this one, the 2DS and the old 3DS XL. And if you have a new model, then I have a video coming out like probably like tomorrow or something after this video or the day after this video comes up. But uh, yeah, we're on the mod menu. So going to press just follow what the screen says right here and then A. And this will now do a firmware backup and uh, install. Boom. Success. Press A. And uh, yeah, Luma 3DS menu is coming up. So now you just press start. Oh, I also need to update the, the Luma that's in the files. Just remembered because I have an old uh, version there. So I'll have to update that for you guys. I just have to remember that. And um, yeah, now your 3DS is technically modded, but you are not done yet because you do not have the mod files. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, install those. But as you probably can tell, my 3DS is Japanese and uh, I'm going to just quickly change region on it to Europe because yeah, as you can see, it's in Japanese and I want it in English. And uh, if you are wondering how to do this too, I have a video for that on my channel on how to region change your modded 3DS. So uh, you can follow that there. But um, yeah, let me just change region on it so we can continue. And damn, that took a little longer than I thought it would. And uh, I actually do not need this PC anymore. So next step is what you're gonna do. And uh, what you're gonna do is go into download play. You're going to press on A on download play. Then you're going to press down L and select. Go down to miscellaneous options, press A. And then press A on switch the HP title to the current app, A. Once you get operation succeeded, you press B, B and B. And then press home here and X out of here and then open download play again. Then go into FBI, SD, go down to CIAs, press A and then press A on current directory, press A here and install and delete all CIAs, A and A again here. Now give this a second here to download. Does not take long unless you have um, a little power. Not a lot of battery. Then uh, the 3DS slows down, fun fact. Happened to me yesterday while modding. Boom, X out of here and uh, X out of here. And boom, now we have the mod apps. And um, I actually get a question uh, 
pretty often on download play and uh, people ask me what do i do to make download play into download play again because now if you press on download play you get to the homebrew launcher again and what you're gonna do is turn off your 3ds that's like the quickest way bam turn it on again and uh, download play again will be download play again right download play will be download play again and uh yeah so uh, do not be stressed out download play will still function exactly like it would you basically just made a shortcut into homebrew that's all you did uh because you need to download uh, the apps right but uh, yeah, download play is normal again. And now if you want to make download play into homebrew again, you just do the exact same thing. Down, L and select. Miscellaneous options, right? Switch the HB. And uh, yeah, that will switch it to homebrew. And uh, yeah, but now it works exactly like normally. And you have all of the homebrew apps. The yeah, I have installed everything for you basically. Just not a chop. But uh, you have uh, Universal Updater, Homebrew Launcher, FBI, this thing, what is this thing? Oh, Checkpoint and uh, Anemone 3DS. And uh, I usually also have HOP here, but uh, that's not possible anymore because YouTube does not uh, let me have HOP in uh, videos. But uh, yeah, so I just had to take that out. And um, yeah. That's really gonna be it. But if you do want to install a chop yourself, then uh, I will link that right here. This is how you install DS games on your modded 3DS. And this is how you install Game Boy games on your modded 3DS. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.